welcome to Daytime. I'm Sonia Sash. We're going to talk all there is to know about Valentine's Day and being beautiful for that special day. Please help me welcome Lisa Kisbert, my fellow hat fan, <laughs> and of course, beauty blogger. Yes, yes, that too. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for coming back. I mean, Valentine's Day is around the corner. It is. It's creeping up, right? It is. Yeah. Now, you have a few tips before we get into like the beauty part of things. Okay. All right. This is a really serious question. I'm, I'm ready for a serious <laughs> question. Do women, should women, buy their man something for Valentine's Day? I'm gonna give you an absolute yes on that. Yes. Yes, we should all share the love, feel the love. I think so. Right. Yes. Because there are a lot of women who are opposed to doing something like that, or maybe a little too shy to do something like that? I don't know, I think one of the coolest things about Valentine's Day, yes, you can go out and buy something, mm. but I love the stuff that's sort of heartfelt, homemade, oh. like I'm a sucker for that kind of really, you know, just thoughtful stuff. Yeah, like like what as an example? You know, a card or a photo album, something to sort of represent whatever it is that your relationship is, like yeah. something that reflects that. Yeah. I like that, so let's say, You've been dating a guy for maybe, I don't know, three weeks, four weeks. What type of a gift are we looking at? Like something small? Maybe something small, not too expensive. And I mean, I would probably go with something not too personal, something that you know they're interested in, mm. but maybe not a declaration of love. <laughs> we want to keep one. it light. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to scare our, our new boyfriend right. away. So yeah, you know, I would say something that uh, reflects how you feel, but maybe not too intense. So a book, uh, I don't know, um, just something cute, something Take a, fun, something to a game light. or something. Yeah, a game, anything that they're interested in. You I know, like if that. a guy's really interested in barbecuing or in sports or you know something that reflects their interests. Right. Yeah. And then if you get more serious, you know, then let's say you're in a six month year mark. You were talking about beer, something oh. like that. Yes. <laughs> um, Indigo actually is coming out with a, a, like a beer making kit. So it's, you know, you, you have a guy who's really interested in beer and on tap beer or whatever, he can make it at home, I guess. Yeah. I like yeah, that. Yeah, pretty neat. There's all kinds of cool gifts out there for guys. You know, because for me, buying things for, you know, guys, my brother, my father, awful. Guy gifts? I'm horrible at, and I don't know why that is. I don't know either. <laughs> and you're saying that it's just, you know. Uh, there's so many there's different so many places things. that you can look. And honestly, again, it's about paying attention to what they're interested in. Okay. Um, you know, there's all kinds of cool electronics and accessories for electronics that I know for my brother is a surefire hit. Um, for my husband, he has certain brands that he loves. Mm. So I know if I walk into a Paul Smith store, I'm finding something for him. Oh, so cool. it's just about sort of knowing the guy that you're buying for. Right. And then trying to keep it appropriate. Right. Yes. Okay, for the state of the relationship. Exactly. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Now, how do we beaut beautify ourselves? So Valentine's Day is really fun. First of all, it's an excuse to get glamorized, take care of yourself, and you want to feel sexy and festive. Mm -hmm. um, Which so can be hard, I have to say, <laughs> to feel sexy. <laughs> That's what, you know, beautifying is all about, yeah. is to sort of get you in that mood. Mm -hmm. um, so the first thing that I'm loving right now, especially for Valentine's Day, is a sugar scrub. So we have oh, this nice. over here. Mm -hmm. And basically, uh, it is an exfoliant. You're going to, in the shower, use it like you would any exfoliant. But it has some essential oils in it. It's going to give you that moisture. And it also um, dissolves. So oh. as opposed to when you exfoliate sometimes, you end up with a little sand left over. Yes. And you don't really want that on Valentine's no, Day. You, you want to be sand touch. free. Right. You want to be smooth. <laughs> That's right. So this is a great way to get moisturized. And I have to say, these two happen to smell amazing. I, I say, can I smell? Oh my god. Vitabath, incredible smell. I really love the products that you bring in. Oh, yay. <laughs> mm, it does smell really yeah, it's pretty. Beautiful. It's yeah. not too much. No, you know, you know? It, it does wash off. It, like it smells intense in the bottle, but it's just gonna leave that, that nice scent. You wanna smell yeah. nice on Valentine's Day. But not over perfume. Exactly. Okay, that's a good tip, I like that. So the next thing that I have, so we've exfoliated, we're all smooth. Mm. Um, maybe you wanna have a little bit of extra confidence. We Could have, always use that. Right, especially on Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. In your clothes, mm -hmm. out of your clothes. Yes. Um, we have body firming lotion. Does that work? How does that work? It's going to tone your skin. It's going to basically tighten everything up, which, you know, even if it's not a mega overhaul, it's mm -hmm. going to give you that sense of confidence, which is really important when you're going to go out with your loved one. For sure. Can I see that? Absolutely. So I have two here. 
And check you like them, them both? Yeah, I like them both. And you know, you're going to just apply it to the sort of trouble body parts. Okay. Uh, massage in a circular motion, and and you're going to be good to go. You're going to feel that tautness, that tightness. I like that. So if women are experiencing some loose, saggy skin in yes, certain cellul areas, cellulite, saggy skin, that's what this is for. I like that. Yeah. So it's fat girl slim. Yeah. I like the, <laughs> the name of that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's very and cute. And this one is from Meridesso. That's cool. Yeah. That's and great. where do you find these? Um, you can find them at like online, Sephora, pretty much any of the beauty retailers yep. you're gonna you're gonna find these. Okay. Yeah. I'm taking these. <laughs> <laughs> I need the firming. Yeah, it's, okay. It's definitely fun. Okay. Forget the gym. <laughs> Just get the See? Fun. Exactly. I know. Um, the next thing also body related. I love this is Fathina by Benefit, and it is a shimmer. So basically like you want to have that glow, you want to have that all over body glow. Maybe you're going to show a little shoulder, mm. you're going to show a little leg. Mm -hmm. This is a nice way to sort of even out your skin, give yourself a little bit of a shimmer. Oh, I like that. Yeah, and it's just not too much, like if you're going to a club or something. No glitter. Right, glitter no. <laughs> <laughs> not into glitter. No, this is a shimmer. So it's just going to give you that glow. Um, and it really is romantic and soft, which is nice. Pretty. Yes. And I'm seeing the lipstick. So these are lip glosses, Sonia. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yes, because I think for Valentine's Day, you should be wearing lipstick. Tell us why. <laughs> because you're going to be smooching. Yes. You're going to smooch. You don't want to get lipstick all over your man, and you don't want to get lipstick all over your face, mm -hmm. and you also don't want to be leaving those romantic moments to touch up your lipstick. Yeah, nothing's more awkward than looking like a clown after a little smooch. A little smooch. A little Valentine's Day smooch. Yeah, yeah. That, that would be embarrassing. And then yeah. saying, sorry, honey, I Gotta just Gotta go to... fix it up. Yeah. No. Okay, good idea. Also, I think a shimmer or a, even a lip balm, that's a great lip balm, um, is going to give you that sort of moisturized, pretty pout that is attractive, you know. Do you like the ones that actually plump up the lips or... I'm wearing it right now. Are you? I am. Yes, I love them. Okay. <laughs> so what are you looking for? It actually says plump up yeah, the lip? Yeah, a, okay. a, a plumper, yeah. Okay. Lip plumper, I love those Yeah, things. lip gloss really with a plumper. Yeah, why not? Add yeah. a little I think volume. that's a great, that's probably my favorite tip so far. The, <laughs> actually Valentine's the firming Day. and yeah, yeah, and the plumping of the lips with lip gloss. Yeah, there you go. Delicate and gorgeous. So the last thing that I'm loving for Valentine's Day, which is really a classic, is red nail polish. Of course. <laughs> Red nail polish. First of all, you're celebrating the theme of Valentine's Day without being like too uh, dressed up for Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. um, you know, not wearing red on Valentine's Day, but you're wearing a little bit of red, which sort of hints at the fact that there's a festive holiday going on. Um, it's a classic. Nice. It's super feminine. There are so many cool red shades out there. Um, there's sparkly ones, there are matte ones, there's a million different possibilities. And you can even mix it up, do a few nails, one color, mix it up with oh, another color, it's fun. I never thought to do that. Yeah, it's really neat. So some glitter, some matte. Exactly, yeah. Okay. Um, and guys love red nail polish, because it really they is do. classic. They it's do. It's classic and feminine. And you brought something for us to give away, I a glossy did. box. Glossy box. And actually for Valentine's Day, Glossy Box is celebrating its year anniversary. Amazing. So it's going to be a really fun box. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So random caller if you want to take this home, 905-361-5120. All of that is there. Thank you so much Lisa for dropping by. You're always amazing. You're going to be back soon. Absolutely. I love it. And we have lots more coming up on daytime after this quick break, so stay tuned. <laughs>